Here is one activity that I use to teach my students for counting forward during the day. Once the children have reached uh, and are capable of counting by f ones, fives, and tens, I move on to this activity. It is the exact same activity that we did during counting by fives and counting by tens. We are going to play count and sit. The difference this time is that I am going to tell the boys and girls a mystery number, and I am going to tell them what number to start counting with. For example, we're all standing up, and I would say our target number or our mystery number is 25. And I am going to start with the number six. So I say six, the person next to me says seven, eight, nine, and so forth until the child says 25. The child that says 25 sits down. Then I have a new mystery number. My mystery number this time might be 53. And this time I might have the children, the child that's next to the person that is sitting, start with the number 12. And we'll go 12, 13, 14, and so on until we get to 53, and that child sits down. Now if I'm going to use higher numbers like 93 or 87, I'm going to start higher. So if my number, mystery number is 87, I might have the child start with 66 to work their way up to that. We will continue this pattern until everyone in the class is sitting down because they've hit the mystery number. You can practice this in a circle. You can practice the standing in line waiting to go to the cafeteria. You can practice this anywhere where you have some extra time that you need to fill. This is an activity that I use to help my students count forward.